1723 in Connecticut, a young Mohegan boy named Samson Occam is born. He spent his childhood amongst his tribe, and after hearing preaching from the Great Awakening, he came to Christ at the age of 17. Samson was a very intelligent young man, but only spoke Mohegan at the time. But as he grew in his zeal for the word, he came to learn the languages of Greek, Hebrew, Latin, and English under the teaching of Eleanor Willock. Samson was very gifted at teaching gospel to multicultural groups. And after about 10 years of teaching, Wheelock persuaded him to go and raise money to open an all Native American school. He would be away from his family for about three years, but eventually went on to England and started to preach and to teach and to raise money while he was there. During that time in England, he managed to raise around 11,000 pounds, but eventually something would happen. Wheelock, the same person that inspired him to go and raise the money, took the money and used it to make a school for primarily white students. Samson went through many hardships in his life. Eye strain led to the early termination of his academic career. Unjust wages led to family poverty. And the misuse of educational funds stripped away the access to education from the tribe. On the eve of his departure to England, he wrote these words. I have a struggle in my mind at times, knowing not where I'm going. I don't know, but I am looking for a spot of ground where my bones must be buried, and never to see my poor family again. But I verily believe I am called of God by strange providence, and that is enough. I want nothing but the will of God to be wholly swallowed up in it. To some, Samson's life may have seemed pointless, not to God. Eventually, the work that Samson put in bore fruit a couple centuries later, the same school used to mistreat Occam became Dartmouth College. In recognition to the mistreatment to Samson Occam, they sought reconciliation and eventually built a school that was tailored for Native Americans pursuing higher education. Colossians 3, 23 and 24. Whatever you do, work heartily unto the Lord and not to man, as the inheritance comes from the Lord as your reward you are serving the Lord Christ.